Good morning, guys. Clock is quarter to eight in the morning, and I got a message half past four that my car is ready. So I don't know if my phone didn't get my message yesterday or if I actually first got it this morning, but I'm going home and getting my car. I'm home. I didn't tell you there was actually another message I got this morning too, and that was from my boss. Telling me that I'm not going to go to work tomorrow, I'm going to wait. Because they're going to put in a carpet tomorrow. So there's no reason for me to run down there. So, I don't know why I'm getting the messages half past four in the morning when I'm supposed to get them yesterday. But I think I'm going to shut off the phone for 20 minutes then turn it back on. Just to see if that helps. I know. I know. You're very talkative. Hmm. And I made spaghetti and meat uh, sauce yesterday, or uh, last evening. As I say, it did not sit well in my stomach. That's all I'm going to say. So I don't know what it is I'm doing wrong. I know. Mm. Yep. I can't reach it. I'm too freaking stiff in my body. Hi. <laughs> so, I'm going to check up on a couple of things in the computer and... Then I'm going to count all my bottles. Then I'm going over and buying some Coca-Cola and some bananas. Clearly that's the only thing that's working. That wasn't that bad with bottles. Uh, collected all the bottles I could find downstairs. And I went and got some toast bread. Because Daddy suggested that. Got a handful of bananas. my boss wrote to me okay uh, I need to write him back um, bananas and a coca-cola and I'll hope that will help me out otherwise I will have to get in contact with my doctor otherwise I don't know what to do so yeah I'm I'm not particularly proud of myself to be honest not partic particularly. And the clock is half past four in the afternoon. I came home, got a banana and one piece of bread and a couple of sips of the soda. And I knew I could hold that in me. I went to lay down because I was not feeling good and sitting alone for two o'clock just to be sure. Did not hear it. And Woke up, 10 minutes past 4. I feel better now than I did before I went to bed, but still, I was supposed to get stuff done today. <sighs> I hate these days. And I will have these days even when I'm not filming. The uh, alternative, is that what it's called, is to just say, well, do you know guys, I'm not going to film for next week. And hope my stomach is on top again because this is horrible. I promise you guys that it's gonna happen something in the videos and that just didn't because I am sick. But on the other hand, my boss got back to me. But clearly there was a communication mistake. Before we went to on holiday, he said he wanted me to come in latest the 15th of January. So I was like, alright, I'm coming around the 10th, then I got a little bit sick, and the car problem, nah, it's going to be on Wednesday, which is the 12th, no, 13th, sorry, no, 12th, sorry, 12th of January, which is tomorrow, and then he wrote to me that, no, because the car people are coming, and they can wait, mm, what, <laughs> so back and forth, back and forth, it turns out we need the party area plus toilet cleaned by the 22, 
So he told me to come in the 19th. That gives me a little bit of a week from now. So that's the new work plan. Um, for those who was interested in knowing what it came up to cost for the car, it costs the same thing as buying a new used car without the car prices are right now because of all the things in China, we can't get chips, we can't get anything from China. Every single thing that is an old car that do not need chips or anything Chinese electronic stuff has raised in price. So what there used to be a five to ten thousand Danish kroner used car, ten thousand for a totally serviced two years on the road car, a five thousand mm, you have probably about a year. Half year to a year, depending on the seller. So that that's the price range. The five thousand is about fifteen now. Fifteen thousand. And the ten thousand car lays around twenty to twenty five thousand. Yeah. And in total it has cost us Daddy told me it was about fifteen thousand. But here's the thing, why did you not just go out and buy another car? Because the car we have now got a new size on, it got a ton of new stuff that we know has been changed. And there's new, there's no, oh that was changed a month ago and then it's breaking two months from now if you buy a new car. And we know it has been changed, it has been fixed and everything. We won't have that if we buy a new car. So that's why daddy decided that he'd rather do that than go out and buy another car. So as he says, happy birthday and Merry Christmas for the next couple of years. <laughs> I love my life. And if you guys think it's not going the same way backwards, it did. Because when I got confirmation, I had around 10,000 corners staying on the couch. Daddy needed those 10,000 to move up here back then. I let him borrow it. And he borrowed it for about six years before he paid it back. And he paid it back because I needed a scooter and he went out and bought a scooter that was more expensive than that, plus a helmet. Which it was a thousand corner too. So I believe he came up with 1300 and something and he only borrowed a thousand. Give or take, he hadn't been giving me any Christmas gifts at that point of the uh, birthday gift in that uh, timeline, so it all adds up. In our family, we are not getting birthday gifts or Christmas gifts. Uh, from about 15, 16 years. Instead, you are getting when you need something. So, when you get confirmation time, they will usually start giving you things for the household. So, pot, pants, and all that kind of stuff. Which I didn't think about because I didn't wish for anything. Um, I said I don't care about the party back then. I just want to be in the right white dress. So, I didn't even have a wish list. So, I got a lot of money. And I got some things for when I was moving from home. And daddy has been good at putting things aside when he finds something at a recycling center or something that, um, like, um, where you can go and buy people's old stuff, that kind of stuff. Um, flea market, that's the name of it. So, he has been good at doing that. And I have never been the one that didn't came when he called. So, it goes both ways. So yeah, um, I still need to somehow pay him back the 5,000 I borrowed to get this month to work out. But somehow I'm gonna do that. Somehow. Because I was sitting there making a um, calculation last evening on how I can save money, and it's not looking good. I got four loans. One is on around nine, it's 19,000 something. The other one is 27,000 or something. The other one is 37,000 something. And the last one is 92,000 or something. And before anyone start yelling at me, why are you doing? Every single one of those loans has been made because people were not paying me salary, so I couldn't pay my bills, which is not my fault. I was doing my work. Um, the raises was not given, and everything around me just raised in price. So somehow I had some time to find some extra money to balance everything out. I never got it. And the last one is cars, and the kind of stuff has been going, and I didn't have the money to repair them, and I need the car, or I couldn't go to work. Because I live in a place where there's only bus road, one bus road that actually works. And it only goes to one place. And that's Skiva. And I wasn't working in that end of Skiva where it was going, so it wouldn't have worked anyway. So yeah, great. 
So that's the situation. Hi. Do you mind? Come over here. Here's the instead. Ow. Oh. So yeah, it's not going well now. On top of that, that I'm feeling sick, not helping. So yeah, um, I was looking into some of all of those uh, challenger studies and rearranging my uh, finances and that kind of stuff yesterday. And I will be looking into more of that tonight to see what I can do because of time. Back in the day, I could actually do that without a problem, but I didn't have to pay things. So. And what I mean that is was when I went to a school called the school, which were a special place for kids that needed space from home or needed some extra attention about uh, schoolwork. And after the school they had that was actually capable of helping me out and still I did not manage to learn to learn to read and write properly in the right way. So do you mind? Thank you. And back then I had what's called a half part on a horse. Which means you pay 300 kroner each month to allow to ride four times a week on the horse. One of those has to be um, riding lessons. So that's uh, one thing I really, really wanted with the horse I was riding on back then. And I did that for four months by cutting my allowance down. I even had a calendar where I planned everything out. But well, the thing was fun, and I took one of my tears and I said, see, this is what I want to do, I want to do that, 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 and then I have, every single month I can have this. And they was looking at, what? And then it makes sense for them, but they was like, am I, you're only getting 15 kroner, no, 20 kroner each week, out of your allowance, you're keeping the rest of going to this? Yes. What if you need something? I won't need something. Because this is more important to me. It was just, what? <laughs> I did do it. And I cut my candy on Friday down to one cheap soda and a roll of gummies, which would cost three corner back then. So that was, what, under five, under six corner back then for that out of 20. I still have plenty of money left to save up. So that, that's what I did. And it worked out for those months. Then I moved to a family where I had to stay until I can get to the where I was getting medication and I actually worked at their farm for uh, two months, no a month, sorry, and then I actually went back to the riding place and I actually got a job there which included a half part on the same horse so I didn't have to pay for it. It was part of my salary. <laughs> I didn't actually get a a salary for working there. I got a half part of a horse, I got free um, starting at uh, tournaments and I got a bus card so I can take the bus everything the same I wanted and it was free so I can do 50 times a day if I want to. That's no problem. And I got free food on the tournament days. Not a bad deal for all the stuff I actually put into it out there. They said they were actually sad to lose me because they really liked having me around to do all the stuff. So yeah, so I'm gonna spend the evening trying to figure all of this out and try to stay still, so my stomach don't go bananas. So thank you for watching. Sorry for this rant of uh, what is it called? Talking, 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 but that's not gonna happen anything. So thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button, 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 phone like. Please do not unsubscribe. <laughs> I will make it up to you the moment my stomach is back on track. I will make it up to you guys. I promise. But now I need to take care of myself. This one my new resolution. So, bye guys.